There's a reason why people are cynical about the politics of this country. And we have so many examples of why First Past the Post has not served the citizens of this country. We have children on First Nations reserves living in third world conditions, which is a point of national shame for this country. Yes. We have, we have, we have politicians who said that they are not influenced by money and corporate influence, and yet we have a Prime Minister who happens to find himself in a room full of billionaires looking for personal private contracts for long-term care. And we have a Premier in the province of Ontario who is selling off your public asset, Hydro One. I can tell you that would not happen in a minority government or under a proportional representation because your voices would be represented in the legislature where you sent us to work for you. You're right. So it does need to be said, it needs to be said that Justin Trudeau the Prime Minister of Canada has betrayed the citizens of this country, and we need to hold him to account for that. My federal NDP counterparts are speaking out against the Liberal majority government's decision to back away from their campaign promise and throne speech commitment that 2015 would be the last federal election conducted under first-past-the-post voting system. That was a moment of hope for the entire country. We believed those words when they were said. And we have a national sense of disappointment and cynicism because the Prime Minister has said it is his decision to back away from it. It is not Justin Trudeau's decision to back away. That is our decision, our decision to fight for our democracy. And while Trudeau wants the public to believe that there is no consensus on the way forward, the reality is that during the committee hearings, almost 90% of experts and public testimony called on the government to move forward with proportional representation. By not respecting those voices, he is not respecting the citizens of this country. And by being here today, you are reminding Justin Trudeau that we will hold him to account. We will not forget.